Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the Lycanroc Midnight form. I think I already most likely showcased the Lycanroc form for the midday. And here we have the Midnight form. These are battles from last season still. Like I did them at the end of the last season. So I play against like very high ranked opponents still, which is kind of nice. Uh, great league meta didn't change anyway, so those battles are basically doesn't really matter if I play them right now in like rank 10 or 12 or whatever I am right now at the current time I'm recording this or like at higher elos in the old season same meta same Pokemon And we have a team here around it with the Trevenant as a say swap and the Ninetales with charm in the back Basically, I was kind of scared of fighting types. I wasn't expecting to see a lot of Scraft Delete, so I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And look at this, by the way. Beautiful. Gone cast form, and we see the War Rain coming in, and he just surrenders. This Pokemon has a way better moveset than the midday form, but um, it's like, I don't know, like both of them are kind of squishy, so it's always a little bit tricky to play with them. This one definitely looks way cooler. I wonder if the um, other form that is still not released, I think it's Thorn or something, um, gonna be good. But look at this here again. We have the Needle Queen against us. We can go for a Psychic Fang. We can go for another Psychic Fang. And we get the shield and we can go for another Psychic Fang. This thing gets to the moves very, very fast. Another user for Psychic Fangs, which is really cool. They're gonna be another Pokemon definitely in the. A generation which also uses Psychic Fangs because I think it's actually the, the signature move of that Pokemon basically which is like the Swan Fish I, I don't know how, how it's called actually like it looks like a little bit it looks so weird but it's like a fish with a very big ellipse and this thing also um, learns Psychic Fangs I don't know if you know the name of it in the comments that would be nice again generation seven names even though i played the generation a lot i'm not very familiar with the english versions of them because i haven't really looked at them for ages like i'm gonna get used to them again as soon as we have them in pogo but um yeah i know i'm not very i don't know yeah for me it's sometimes difficult with the english names for the pokemon as i've mainly played the german version of this and back in the day even though I played competitive English, um, English but um, yeah, I don't think I used the fish there. So yeah, we see the obstacle in lead again. We would be able to do like pretty nicely against it, and we see the Gengar coming in. Very spicy Pokemon. We can go into our own Trevenant. We should be able to farm down. I was like, yeah, okay, I, I'm fine. I'm shielding here once, and then I, I can just farm all the way down. And he gets another move. And I was like, I should survive one Shadow Punch, should I? I don't. It does more than 67% or whatever we had there. That's insane because like it's like such a bad move. But of course, super effective. Getting his higher texted. Kinda crazy. We can go for the Stone Edge. I hope he shields because I have my Night Hits in the deck anyway. He doesn't shield. And we see the Haunter coming in. We have to hope that he goes with the bait move here, otherwise we have no chance anyway. We didn't, so yeah, there was nothing I can do there at this point anymore. I should have shielded against the Gengar, but even then I think I would have lost because I don't think I would have got rid of the Haunter at the end. This team was just very weak to Gengar Haunter course, which you never really see anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But we can go to our Trevenant against his Trevenant. I remember this game actually. I think he kind of messes it up. He had a way better lead against me, but we can go for the next move in time. Our Trevenant has a very high attack stat. So we're gonna be able to KO this thing. We see the Stunfist coming in, which is nice. We can go for one Seed Bomb, which guarantees me damage. If he wants to go for the Rock Side here, I would be very fine with it, but he doesn't. He overfarms a little bit. He is at one Earthquake right now, and we can let this Rock Side go. Go into our own Lycan Rock, and we can farm all the way down. We can shield once. I hope it's an Earthquake. It is. And now let's see what's coming in. We see the Swampert coming in. We're gonna be able to go for one nice Psychic Fangs, get the shield, and we can go into our Ninetales farm all the way down. With the defense drop, this is gonna hurt a lot. He goes for the Earthquake. He didn't even have the um, Sludge Wave, which I guess is better for us. We didn't throw the move because I know I can farm all the way down here still, and we're gonna be able to win this game pretty easily with some Psychic Fangs. And... Farming him down now. The sad thing is like with this thing it only hits the g Fisk with the quick moves and not with the charge moves. Same with like Bastion for example. It's sometimes a little bit of a problem. Of course we face some Scrafty DC as well which is a very rare usually recently but 
This team doesn't make sense already for my opponent. Double weak to fighting type user. It's very cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. Someone that doesn't fear the Medicham or the Machamp or anything like this. I want to see now what his last Pokemon is. Or oh, we don't like the team there. He goes to the Earthquake, which is fine. We can farm all the way down. What is his last Pokemon? It's gonna be hopefully something that's handled the fighting types. Yeah, okay, it handles at least the fighting types. But still, like, yeah, some problem with this team. I don't know. Not the best, but just meta Pokemon thrown together, I guess. Tried to swap onto this heat bump here. It didn't work out, sadly. But yeah, we're actually now in a very bad spot. <laughs> we can go for the Psychic Fangs here. Um, put him low and we can farm down with our own Fremnant, which is very nice because we can go for one Seed Bomb here, getting him low, and I have to get him low enough that I can counter him down in time or with my Lycan Rock, but he over farms a lot, which is smart, I guess. He goes for the Foul Play, which should KO me, and we're gonna be able to counter him down just in time. Good game to my opponent. Next up, we have a Scrafty again in the lead. Yay, I played a little bit differently. Now I'm gonna catch onto the Trevenant. Because I have then my still my hardest counter on the back. We see the Alona Ninetales coming in with Powder Snow and he denies me. So we're getting hard countered here like crazy. <laughs> There's nothing I can do here right now. We can go for the Seed Bomb. The Seed Bomb gonna be able to put him at half health. We can go to the Lycan Rock going for the Psychic Fangs, and dropping the defense and making, like, in general, Psychic Fangs plus Counter is such a cool combination. Like, the moveset from Lycan Rock is so good because, like, you can def uh, drop the defense of the opponent, you can hard hit him with the counter, which is really, really cool. Then you have a nuke move, which is stab with the Stone Edge, which is cool. So the moveset is really, really good. If it just had a little bit more bulk, but yeah, you cannot ho hope for everything here. We see the Jailson baiting me here. And I was like, okay, if he baits me again, this game is over anyway. I hope he just goes for a Shadow Ball. I guess my opponent really loves the bait game because like this we're gonna lose. But this was a very risky for my opponent. If I just know shield like a once there, he would have lost this. But like this, it's a little bit tricky. We have a very bad detail with the Azumarill and a very bad save swap with the Sable Eye. Can we get a shield from him? Does he feel the Shadow Ball? He does feel the Shadow Ball. And he should feel the Shadow Ball as we can get to another move here. Which gonna get the last shield as well, and he doesn't throw, which is smart. But I make a big mistake here. I was like, he most likely gonna bait here. So much energy. Yeah, spoiler alert, he didn't. Um, yeah, and now we're in a really tough spot because if we shield this, I think we would have been so fine, depending on what he has on the back. He has a Trevenant in the back. Yeah, if we shield, we would have already won this game. This is so annoying. Ah, man. I'm just gonna go into my Lycan Rock and like this i just gonna go for the Psychic Fangs trying to debuff my opponent trying to do as much damage as I can with counter plus stone edge now we can like shield one move here and we actually still be able to come back from this game stone edge coming through this gonna hurt a lot but it just barely survives with the one hp in the dream basically and goes for the ice beam which KOs us and yeah we can KO this thing but we are gonna be uh, yeah killed by this seed bomb here so good game to my opponent pretty hard counter but it's fine we nearly came back there if we sh if we shield the return we would have been fine as well but not like this we see Emporion coming in or like in general on the lead which is really bad we see Amanda Bust in the lead uh, in the say so which is also really bad so we're just getting hard counter right now or is super nice. It's definitely the algorithm. There's no other way. Okay, I should stop saying this for troll. There is no algorithm. It's just like random matchmaking. Something that just happens. Like sometimes you just get hard countered if you match up against someone else randomly. People have like, yeah, teams that just destroy you. Otherwise, you have also teams that destroy other people. So it's, it's, it's totally normal like this. We see Emporion coming in here. We gotta catch the move, which is to totally unnecessary because we have to shield anyway. <laughs> but we can counter him down now. Maybe he goes into the Ontario and make a big mistake there. I should have went for the bait move here. It was kind of obvious that he's gonna shield. And like this, he can farm me down in time before I can get to a Stone Edge. So now I have to go for the bait move, which he doesn't have to shield. And otherwise, he would be two shields down now. We could have farmed him down with the Nine Tails and we would have had enough energy and damage for the Emporion. But like this, sadly, this will not be a game that is winnable. 
as he can just go for the sky attack the sky attack gonna put me low enough and we actually definitely would have won this game if we just baited there before so mistakes on my part a lot there we see the bastion and the victory bill swap in there which is kind of scary but we are just gonna go straight for the shadow ball and the shell ball gonna get the shield we can just farm him a little bit it's still a very scary matchup even though we resist the move with the acid spray as well it's gonna hurt a little bit but we can go for the seed bomb as a last effort here and we're gonna be able to KO the victory bell we are in one way range for the bastardon and we can go into our lichen rock and we see the tropius coming in and i make a super huge mistake here later on i remember this game even though this is like a week ago we can go for the weather ball now but we don't go for the weather ball for some reason I was too scared that the opponent would farm me down like too much, but I wanted to go for that. You saw me clicking on it, but I was too late. And now this one razor leaf that went through there gonna change the entire game. We go for the psychic fangs to debuff the opponent's defense. But yeah, our half goes down. We don't resist the quick move from them. Even though our quick move is double super effective, we just only get a tie there. If we just KO the Tropius with a charge move, we would have easily won this, but we didn't. So yeah. Trunnan comes in. Skarmory in the lead. We can just go for one Psychic Fangs and now we can farm all the way down with our own Trevenant, which is nice because we do more damage. We have to shit once. But Trevenant usually, unless they have a Dark type, you can threaten shields all the time because Shadow Ball does so much damage. And we should get the shield back here from the Skarmory, which we get. And we can still get to another Shadow Ball, which is huge, as this is gonna put him below half half, close to even through the red half. I actually thought it would be less than that. Trevenant's damage output is crazy. We can go back into our uh, Lycan Rock. He goes for the Brave Bird, which is fine. We see the Swampert coming in. I cannot go for the charge move, and I have to hope that he baits me here and he doesn't and we lose because of this like we would have survived one hydro cannon i would have I, I needed to bait for this i think i don't think i could have farmed him down in time so kind of unlucky um good game to my opponent we lost a lot of games here to my own decisions being false or like yeah it's just baiting in general is more like a 50 50 thing so um this is fine we see Trevenant here against Trevenant again, same there, we just go for one move, I'm down, we see the Warren coming in, we're gonna get the shield back anyway, as we can go for some nice seed bombs and the seed bomb. I tried to actually time it like that this is a CMP tie, and it was, which is beautiful, because now he loses energy, he cannot farm me down, he cannot get extra energy, and we can go into our nine tails as my opponent just decides to surrender, as there was nothing that he can do there anymore. We see a Zermoral in the lead again. We could go into our Trevenant. The Trevenant faces the Talonflame, but Talonflame against Trevenant, it looks like a bad matchup, but it's not even the worst. We can just go for the Seed Bomb there. We can shield, and we can actually get two shields from the Trevenant. Of course, it can burn me down now, but we can just take the move. We can go for, a, for the Shadow Ball as well. I don't know, if I baited here with the Seed Bomb, would I have got to the move? No, I wouldn't. Okay, so there was a right play. I'm just gonna let this go, hope he goes for the flame charge, which he does, he still does a lot of damage of course, but we can go for the psychic fangs in time, and swap out immediately into our knight health with shield advantage, I hope they don't have ants on the back, it's Drapian, this game gonna come down to the wire again, I don't know who wins this, he goes for the crunch, if I knew that I wouldn't have shielded of course, but... Um, he tried to go for the debuff, I guess. We can go for one weather ball, and we see the Azrimal coming back in again. And if I went for the weather ball there, I think that was a big mistake. I should've went for the weather ball. But never mind, I don't get to the Stone Edge anyway, so it doesn't matter at all. Um, Lycan Rock is just too squishy. So many Azrimal leads, what's wrong with you guys? We see the Sableye coming in again. I remember this game because I go for the bait again. But this time around, they don't shield, which is insane, but doesn't really matter anyway. As we get the shield back anyway now, so... You know we get the shield, which is fine. We see the, him throwing, which is also fine. I'm just gonna let it go. He goes for foul play. I can go to my nine tails and farm down in time. And now let's see what he has in the back. It's Kai coming back into the Azimeral, which basically tells me he most likely has something like a dark type in the back. Why the hell would you go into a zoomer? Or oh, he has another counter towards the Lycan Rock in the back. We will see in a minute. I don't remember this game anymore. 
we can shield it up. I'm just gonna shield this up as well. Ah, no, I remember what he has in the back now. You're gonna see it. It's gonna be the Trevenant, which is scary as hell, as this thing should be able to sweep me in the end here right now. I'm just gonna try to catch the move. Didn't work out. I can go for the Psychic Fangs. I don't know why he allowed me to do this. He just needs one Seed Bomb to KO me. And here goes the charge move. The charge move gonna be Shadow Ball? This was not the right move and he just let me go and like I can just farm down and I'm gonna win this game. Thanks so for watching. What a weird play, but see you in the next video. Bye.